Stafford was pretty damn good last year. Yeah. I just don't know, Greg. I, I don't know if I trust it. He's such a streaky player. And he was putting his house up for sale. Subject <laughs> to rumors. I mean, they, you know, as good as he was before he got hurt, they were three, four, and one in right. those games, Greg. Um, where well, are you with Matthew wasn't. Stafford? Their defense wasn't very good. I mean, I, yeah. I've always really liked Matthew Stafford. I got to tell you. I mean, yeah. I know people can point out about playoffs and all that. And I know people like to do that with quarterbacks and I'm not saying that's invalid and doesn't have any meaning, but I think as I look at Matthew Stafford's career, I think he's been a pretty darn good quarterback. Um, you know, I think they're searching for a run game and have been for a number of years and they keep drafting backs. You know, they drafted carry on Johnson. They thought he'd be their feature back and they could build a run game when Patricia came in and Johnson's been hurt for two years. They draft Swift now. We'll see how that plays out. Um, they're trying to find some kind of consistent run game that they can count on. But to me, Matthew Stafford's a really good NFL quarterback that does not get the credit, I think, media-wise that he deserves. I mean, I, I think he's really – there's not nothing Matthew Stafford cannot do. By the way, who do you think is a better option as a three-down back, Carry on or DeAndre Swift? DeAndre Swift. Okay. But Adam – I worry that Daryl Bevel and friends are going to get Bo Scarborough in the mix as their, you know, dirty yards kind of a guy, tough yards kind of a guy, you know what, in the dirt kind of a guy. Um, <laughs> it, are they going to play three running backs here, Adam? Please tell me no. <laughs> Did you mean Richard in the dirt? Is that what you mean? Uh, Richard in the <laughs> soil, yes. Uh, look, it's going to be a two-man backfield. Had they not drafted Swift, Scarborough would be the backup. They were kind of surprised by Scarborough last year. He did a good job in his role. Thank goodness, yeah. thank goodness they found him because with Johnson getting hurt again, Ty Johnson just did not back up what they saw from him in training camp. Wes Hills got signed, you know, had to play. The, the kid Trey Carson came out of nowhere because one of the Bengal because one of their coaches was with him with the Bengals and got a shot. But it'll be a two-man backfield. I, I wouldn't worry too much about Scarborough. Uh, but look, the fact that they spent a second round pick on a running back tells you where this offense is going. Uh, it's, it's the flip flop between 11 and 12 personnel, uh, but it's going to be a controlled offense. You know, the, the, the issue I have on their offense is the right side of their line, particularly right guard is open. Hopefully Jonah Jackson wins that job and Stern Stenberg. They like a lot. Uh, who's a fourth round pick out of Kentucky. Uh, the offensive line has been sort of up and down, John, over the years when we've done our show, we've talked oh, about it. Wow. They've tried. They've yeah, tried to I know. It. They, you know, they, and right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't have any depth at receiver, John. They cannot afford another injury. That was a nightmare last season, what they were throwing out there. Yeah. Hey, if John, I don't mean to monopolize here, but yeah, I would just say this. If you're going to look at Swift as getting meaningful, meaningful snaps, and he was a number two pick, okay, and he's a really good prospect. So if you want to just have a back who's essentially going to be your runner, I'm not so sure that Bo Scarborough is in a better option than carry on Johnson at this point. Well, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. I'm worried about Scarborough be, being like the thumper inside basically, because that's not really Deandre Swift's game. They also drafted this kid from New Mexico state, Jason Hunley He's in New Mexico or New Mexico state, but who's a fascinating guy, New Mexico when state. You, yeah. When you think of, you know, where Patricia's come from and, and, uh, you know, I know their OC is, is Bevel, and, and but Bevel was also I, was Bevel in Seattle when McKissick was there at all? Maybe for remember. one year. Maybe for one year. Hunley's a fascinating guy. I mean, he's not he's not in the mix to get carries, but he's a guy who can line up all over the formation. He's got a little juice to him. So I'm you know again I don't know what that means from a fantasy perspective, but I think their backfield's totally up in the air right now. Other than.